Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Hi, Shane. Hello. Hi. hi, Jennifer. Hi, hi good evening. Hello. How Hello. are you? Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Camila. Hello, Camila. Hi, hello. How are you? Caroline. Is Caroline there? Okay, yeah, there. Hi, good evening, guys. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Hugo. Okay, guys. Well, good evening, everybody. We are starting our class for today. This is the pre intermediate three. So I think everybody knows, okay, the course, the details of the course. Okay, it's very nice to meet everybody, okay, for the first time. My name is uh, Iris Garcia. I'm going to be your facilitator for this online class. Okay, Hugo, we have. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Shane. Nice to meet everybody. Andrea, I have Andrea here. I have Jadir, Hugo, Camila, Edgar, Omar, Omar Gomez, Jennifer. Okay, and I have a person with a, a nickname is Note 7. Okay, I don't know if it is a girl, boy. Okay, if you can display a picture, that would be so nice for me, okay, to meet everybody. Okay, Cecilia is there now, okay, connected, Xiomara too, Xiomara Larcón. Okay, well, everybody, okay, good evening. As I said before, my name is Sidis Garcia, and I'm going to be the facilitator for this course, okay? I have been working for Inglés Corporativo for, for about three years. And I have been working in online classes as well. Okay, I was in the in the afternoon classes. Okay, um, and it's a pleasure for me to meet everybody. Okay, I would like to know uh, maybe your names. Okay, because I see a lot of nicknames, but I would like to call you by your name. Okay, for example, I'll start with a uh, Shane. For example, is that your name, Shane, or is your nickname? No, this is my real name. Oh, that's a real name. Can you please uh, pronounce your name, your full name? Shane. Shane Deming. Deming, sí. Oh, that's yes. cool. Okay. Where are you now? Where are you taking your classes? Here in San Salvador or in other department? I live in San Salvador. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. And how old are you, Shane? I'm fine and okay. in my house now. Okay, yeah, with the quarantine, right? Yes. That's good, anyways. I, I, let me congratulate everybody because I know it's, you know, difficult times, but in spite of that, you are here doing something good. This is, this is nice, okay? I know that you want to learn a language and in the future, okay, soon you will be speaking the language. So that's good. You are using the time for something good. That's very nice. What about Camila? Can you, can you speak, Camila? Can you please tell us, okay, some information? Can you hear me, Camila? Hey, I hear you. Okay. I'm Camila. I'm okay. Salvador. Um, mm -hmm. I have a... 23 years old. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, very good. And this too. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Very nice. Okay, very good. Well, we have more people. We have Hugo. Hello, Hugo. Nice to meet you. We have Hector. Hector too. Nice to meet you, Hector. Hector Juarez, right? That's cool. Okay, and more people are are joining the class well. Hey, hello, hi, good evening. Thank you. That's very nice to, to have you in my class, okay? Hector, my name is Cities Garcia. I, I said my name before, okay? So I am added to the WhatsApp group. I think everybody is in the WhatsApp group. That's cool because we can have communication, okay, in that group. Remember, um, 
that group is for consulting something for uh, you know sending me messages just in case you have questions or have comments okay i will be using the whatsapp group as well for um, sending you material okay for some uh, discussion questions things that we have to do in the in the class okay remember the class starts at nine and we're gonna be finishing at 10 p.m okay um i think everybody is uh oh, you have been taking courses here online so i know you know the process okay there is a platform that we have to complete and there is a platform full of sections you know we have five sections and we have to take like one section um more or less like one section per week so uh, after the classes this is a good idea for you tomorrow in the morning or in the afternoon before the class to go to the platform and do the exercises that you have there okay this is the idea you have to complete the part the platform okay be here in the classes as well so you're gonna be you know working okay listening understanding the class doing some practice with me speaking activities listening activities readings etc and then you will go to the platform to complete some exercises that is your grading when you finish the exercises okay we have a month to be here the classes are from monday to thursday so when you finish you have to finish with uh you know successfully finished a hundred that would be great if not we have 80 percent okay if you have less than a 80 percent well you have to repeat doing some exercises until you get that grade okay because with that grade you pass the module okay that's it so um can somebody tell me okay what the topic for today is can you tell me hector do you have any idea what we're gonna be talking today did you check the platform already You have your microphone off, uh, Hector. Check your mic. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, now yeah. is a platform. Platform now is mm -hmm. uh, uh, one PM and six platform and uh, uh, four PM. Okay. Uh, next platform at seven PM. Now and nine PM. Okay, it's the PM. Yeah, it's, the, it's different. Uh -huh. And what is the topic? Do you know the topic for today? Uh, my topic is a uh, 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 MINEF, MINEF, the platform, mm -hmm. uh, the new use uh, platform. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, 4 p.m. Uh, use platform and in, 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 in in come what's in in student in student and um, 6 p 7 p.m and uh, the church mm -hmm. uh, church and um, now in english ah, okay you have english classes now uh, until night yeah okay well okay good then we have juan carlos can you please tell me juan carlos hello juan carlos nice to meet you um, uh, Good evening. Hello. My name is uh, Carlos. Uh, uh, I drive the Immobiliaria Popa. Ah, okay. Uh, Good. It's it, it's some plus. It's some plus. Your uh, start studying is is good. Yeah. Uh, the the platform no no problem. Uh, you have no problems good. there. Everything is good. Okay, okay. I studying okay. study the um, uh, nine uh, am uh, four pm. Four pm. Uh, okay, a lot of time. A lot of time. Okay, that's cool. Very nice. Okay. Uh, uh, the, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the advance. Uh, the in the platform. I study in one section. Six. Yes. Okay, okay, that's cool. You know, this is something that you have to uh, keep in mind all the time. 
work in your platform, in the Glass Corporativo platform, okay, for the okay. sections. Today we are going to start with section number one, and the topic that we have for today is for describing, you know, places. Okay, we have places, we have adjectives, we're going to learn how to use uh, adverbs, okay, before uh, adjectives. We're going to learn how to describe and you know, this class is not only for doing the platform exercises, but to practice your speaking, okay? Because sometimes it's difficult to practice with someone. We don't have someone, you know, family or friends who can speak English. So the only way you can practice is through the class, okay? So here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you, okay? The first, okay, the first stuff here. I have um, this, um, Presentation, this presentation is just to, to check the, the info, okay? So, uh, I have here, I have here, guys, um, this, um, can, you, can you see the, 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 the presentation? Yes? Yes. Yeah, okay, perfect, very good. We're gonna start with the first one, okay? And there is a question. What is the question, Cecilia? Can you please read the question? Where is the chicken? Where is the chicken? Very good. And here, the idea is to describe places, okay? I'm gonna start checking if you know some vocabulary, okay? I'm gonna be asking for volunteers. Remember, I like my classes being like, you know, not just like me talking. You to practice, okay? That's it. We're gonna start with the first one. And I have the question here. Okay, answer the question. The, the, the chicken asked the questions, where am I? This is the question it says, you know, where am I? So look at the picture, try to understand the context, okay? And look at the picture's details and you tell me the name of the place where the chicken is, okay? For example, we start with the first one. Yader, can you please tell me where the chicken is? Uh, Let's check. The chicken. Okay. The chicken is in this dessert. Ah, okay. Okay. Let me check. Okay. Ah, in that. Can you please repeat? Uh, because you say um, dessert, right? Is dessert. 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 Okay. Exactly. Very good. Dessert. Don't say dessert yes. because if you say dessert, it's postre. Yes, okay, so mm -hmm. it's, desert. Just, it's desert. Okay, very, desert. very good. Now I have another, another, another question here. Well, a sentence, and Carolina is gonna give me the sen the answer. Okay, Carolina, can you please read the sen the the sentence, please? Is Carolina there? Carolina, hello. Hello. Okay, tell me the, the, the answer, Carolina, please. The Deserts. Deserts are, are dry places. Dry places. Okay, we have two options, dry or wet. So we have to choose. And let me see, Carolina, if you're right. Excellent. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now let's go on with the other, the other sentence. Okay, look at the context. Okay, and Claudia Dinora is going to give me the answer. Where is the chicken, Claudia Dinora? Let's check. Claudino Nora, is are you there? Can you listen to me? No? Okay, Cecilia Fuentes, are you there? Yes. Okay, Ceci. Can you please tell me the answer? What is the chicken? Look at the context. Okay. Um... Look at the picture and tell me the name of the place. The number one was the desert. Yes, um, maybe uh, in the um, in the house. I, I don't know. In, in the, a house. Uh huh. In a house. Uh huh. Okay, in yeah. a house. Okay, uh -huh. very good. Let's check Edgar Barrientos. Okay, Edgar. Uh, Hello, I Edgar. Very nice. Hello. To to listen to you once again. Yeah, okay. me, too, me too, teacher. Excellent, um, very good. Um, maybe, uh, 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 any idea? Uh, no, I don't have an idea. You don't have any idea. Okay, somebody else who wants to tell me? Okay. Oh, or maybe in the playground? 
Okay, in a playground. Okay, let me check the answer. Let's see. Where is the chicken? The chicken is in a village. Okay, that's it. In a village. Okay. Well, we call them here like in a pueblo. Okay, or stuff like that. Okay. So, let's see here. Beatrice, are you there, Beatrice? Can you listen? And because I yes, see Beatrice I'm there. Here. Okay, very good, Beatrice. Villages, villages are... And I have two options, Beatrice. Noisy or peaceful places? What do you think? Villages are peaceful places. Peaceful places, okay, there we go. Excellent, okay, very, very good. Okay, let's go on with the other one, okay. I will ask, okay, for a, let me see. Juan Carlos, tell me, where is the chicken, Juan Carlos? Easy, Juan in the, Carlos. In the beach. In the beach. Okay, excellent. Okay, very good. Okay, and now Hector Juarez is going to give me the answer for this. Hector, can you please give me the answer for the sentence? Okay, uh, bees are usually a sandy place. Sandy places, okay, let me see. Okay, excellent, okay, very good. Sandy places, which is, we have, try to remember, we have uh, deserts, they are dry. Then we have villages, they are peaceful, which is are sandy, okay? Let's see, we have another one. Okay, where is the chicken here? I'm gonna ask Aleida, okay? Hello, Aleida, are you there? Can you listen to me? Hello. Hey, hello, hello. Okay, where is the chicken? Um, the chicken is in a forest. In a forest, okay, let me check. Excellent, very good, very good. And Yader is gonna give me the answer for the sentence, Yader. Forests okay. are? Forests are, are wet places. What do you think, dry or wet? Wet. Okay. What places? Okay, let me check. Let me check the answer. Okay, wet places. Excellent, okay. Forests are wet places. This is the opposite for dry, okay? Let me go, okay? There, what about this one? Okay, let me check. Andrea Marroquin. Okay, Andrea Marroquin, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, can you please uh, tell me where the chicken is? Um, in the ciudad. Aha, uh -huh, okay. In English, how do you say ciudad in English? I don't remember. You don't remember. Okay, maybe Jennifer Martinez can. Aha, uh -huh, yes, somebody? In the city. city. The city, okay, very mm -hmm. good. The city. Uh -huh. Okay, the city. Yeah, very good. Okay, you are in a big city or a city, no problem. Okay, then Jennifer Martinez, can you please tell me now that the. the to complete the sentence, big cities okay. are? Big cities are noisy places. Noisy places, excellent, okay, very good, okay. Noisy places, noisy, noisy places. What about this one, okay? Eh, Joanna Castellón, okay? Where, Hello, is, where is the, Joanna is Joanna, Joanna. Yes. Okay, very good to listen to you. Okay, Joa. Where is the chicken? Um, the chicken is in a forest. Forest in a forest. We we already have forest, so maybe it cannot be repeated. Maybe you can Park. check the answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody said the chicken is in a fo forest. You continue with the answer. Forest. In the park. Ah, in the park. Okay, in the park. Let me see. Excellent. It's in a park. Okay. Now tell me, Omar Gámez. Can you please tell me the sentence? Complete the sentence, Omar. Can you listen to me, Omar? Omar one, Omar two, Omar three. No? Okay. Well, we continue with note seven. Uh, the uh, part are ugly place. Ugly. Oh, really? Ugly. <laughs> ugly. Mm. Beautiful. 
Maybe in El Salvador. Maybe in El Salvador. <laughs> mm, well, let's change. Uh -huh. who, who, who gave me the answer? Can somebody repeat the answer? Parks are beautiful. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Beautiful places. Excellent. Okay, very good. Depends, right? That's it. What about this one? What about this one? Okay, let's see. Where is the chicken? Here. Mountain. It's a mountain. Okay, let me check. The mountain. Excellent. Okay, one volunteer. Mountains are? Mountains are cold. Uh, cold, cold. cold. Hot or cold? Cold. 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 Okay. Excellent. Cold places. Very, very, very good. What about this one? Where is the chicken? What is the name of this place? Somebody can tell me. Diversion. Park Diversion. Ah, okay. Yeah. In this, I, I know and then I understand in Spanish when you say Park Diversion, but in English it's different. Maybe it's new vocabulary for you. Let me check. Okay, repeat. Theme park. Theme park. Theme park. Un parque temático. Okay, theme park. Theme park. Okay, in the theme park. So, every time you want to go to a parque diversiones, you have to say, let's go to the theme park. Okay? That's it. Theme park. The theme park. Un parque temático. Aha, very good. So, the chicken is in the theme park. And the sentence says, theme parks are amazing or boring? Amazing. 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 I love theme parks. Okay. Very, very, very good. Okay. And the last one here. Let's see. Okay. What is the chicken? What is it? What is it? What is it? The jungle. The jungle. The jungle. Excellent, very good. Okay, and jungles are sunny or shady? Shady. Shady. Sunny. Shady or sunny? What do shady. You shady. Okay, let's try shady. Shady. Shady places. Excellent. Okay, very, very, very good. It comes from shade. Viene la palabra shade que es la sombra. Okay, so son algo oscurillos los. los that's home glass, right? Okay, shady. Very, very good. Let's see this one. What is this? Huh, this is common in El Salvador. Uh huh. Xiomara Larcon, do you have the answer for this? What is a chicken? What is the name of this place? Mm, maybe I think in the garbage. Okay, the garbage is the. the, the, the the objects that you see there, but the name of the place, no? The, I don't know. No. Uh -huh. Yes, Ceci, I think. The dump. dump. The dump, okay, the dump, very good. This is what we call basurero, okay? That's it. One adjective for basureros, dumps are <laughs> very or clean. Very. 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 Very, very, okay. very excellent. Uh -huh. Very, very, very good. And this one, this is common. Isalco, for example. Okay. Volcano. Uh -huh. Volcano. Volcano. A volcano. That's it. Volcano. Volcano. Volcanoes. Volcanoes are hot, hot places. Hot places. Okay. Oh. Very good. Excellent. Very, very, very nice. Okay, guys. That's it. Tell me, please, uh, tell me the adjectives, okay? Tell me the hot. adjectives that you remember. Hot, give me other. Wet. Sunny. Wet, sunny, very good. Give me more. Cold. I'm sorry. Cold. Cold, Cold. excellent. Give me other Shady. adjective. Shady, very good. Amazing. If you didn't know this Amazing. one. Amazing, dirty, funny. funny. Soundly. 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 Okay, beautiful, uh -huh. very good, noisy. Okay, what about the desert? It's a place uh -huh. dry. Dry, uh -huh. dry. Very, very good. Okay, my friends. Sandly. This is what we are going to learn today. We're going to learn, okay, the name of the topic is It's a Very Exciting Place. The objective for this class is to learn the usage of 
adverbs before adjectives. No podemos saber qué es un adverbio sin saber qué es un adjetivo. Primero, so that's important to know adjectives. Adjectives describe nouns. For example, uh, Claudia Dinora. Are you there, Claudia Dinora? Okay, okay, Claudia. If I tell you, if I tell you the name of a place, for example, um, let me see, El Salvador. This is our country. Can you please tell me adjectives which describe El Salvador? Beautiful. Beautiful. Continue. Give me more. Uh -huh. Sure. Small. 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 Yeah, it's short. In this case, it's for people. The song alto okay. so bajo. So in this case, in this case, hot. it's small. Hot. Uh huh. There is some places, right? Hot. For example, yesterday was very hot. A other other adjective. Dangerous. Dangerous. Uh huh. Any other? What about what about if if I tell you uh, something more specific? La Costa del Sol. How could you describe La Costa del Sol? Yeah, it's a beautiful, 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 hot. Mm -hmm. hot. Any Be other? Mm -hmm. Beach, sunny, sunny. In that case, somebody said beach. No, beach uh, is uh, not an adjective. Beach. Uh, whole, whole. Mm -hmm. uh, my I, my beach is, is uh, whole. A uh, hot, hot, de caliente. Yes. Okay. Hot. 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 Okay. Hot. Very relaxed good. place. Mm -hmm. Relaxing. Uh -huh. Relaxing. Okay. Relaxing. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Relaxing. Peaceful. Sunny. Sandy. Okay. Etc. Etc. Okay. Very nice. So you know adjectives. Adjective. Now. Yes. Those are adjectives. Now I present some adjectives here. Okay. Let's see. In column A, I have... Beautiful, cheap, cheap clean, clean, interesting. interesting. Muchos alumnos dicen interesting. No, 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 no. That's interesting. Quiet, quiet, quiet. relaxing, quiet. relaxing, relaxing. Safe. safe, spacious. Spacious. In column B, you can see boring, crowded. Dangerous, expensive, noisy, polluted. Polluted is another way to say contaminated. Okay. okay. Polluted, stressful, ugly. Oh. Okay, that's it. This is what you are gonna do. Okay. Um, a, do you have your WhatsApp group with you? Do you have your WhatsApp next to you? No tienen ahí? Do you have your cell phone? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Ahí les va la picture. Okay, there you have the picture over here. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Let's work in pairs. What you have to do, guys, right now, me van a poner el opuesto. Okay, the opposite. You and your partner. I'm going to give you a, some, I'm going to give you some time for you to do this activity. Okay? Then, uh, you will have about three minutes, okay? Four minutes really? maximum, okay? Three, uh -huh. four minutes maximum. So you can uh, you can be working here. I'm gonna send you to the to the um, the breakout rooms in, with your partners, please. I want you to uh, match the column A with the column B with the opposite adjectives. Opposite if you see adjective. number nine and number ten. They are in blanks, right? What you have to do here is to just think about two extra adjectives and then match with the opposite, okay? That's it. 19 participants, so we are going to work in first 18 participants, and there we go. Accept the invitation, please. I'm going okay. to send you, I'm send you the, the invitation right now. Todavía no ha dicho. Ahorita viene. Vamos, pues, lo contrario va a decir.
Did you get the invitation, Hector? Accept the invitation, Hector, please. Okay. Eh, boring, quiet, yes. cr cr crowd, crowded, dijo, vea, crowd, no, mm. ah, no, quiet, ah, no, noisy, no, uh -huh, noisy, ajá, no, noisy, uh -huh, relaxing, relaxing. Eh, stressful, stressful. Uh -huh. safe, 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 hello, Vector, hello, eh, la imagen no se mueve, I'm sorry, La imagen no tenemos. In the WhatsApp group, I sent the, the picture to the WhatsApp group. Estoy aquí. Joanna, do you have sí. it? Yes. Ahorita lo voy a hablar. Ajá. Yes, it's in the WhatsApp group right now. Es que estoy en el teléfono. Ahí, ahí lo puede minimizar. Minimia, minimize the, 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 the okay. session and then you will have the, the picture. Okay? Okay. Good. Okay. WhatsApp, in image. Ah, okay. Okay. Eh. Okay. Beautiful. Eh, in. Hold it. Eh, yes. Interesting. Boring. Boring. Okay. Quiet. Quiet. Noisy. Noisy. Okay. Relaxing? Stressful. Um, stressful? Yes. Safe? Dangerous, no? Dangerous. Okay. Spacious? Spacious. Sorry. Crowded? I don't know what is the meaning of that. Cr but. <laughs> crowded is the... Is the, the last one. The last, yes. Cr crowded is uh, alguien lleno. Okay. Crowded. Yeah, crowded. Uh, opposite. Of spacious, spacious, exactly. Spacious is spacioso, right? For example, spacious, uh -huh, for example, when you go to the mercado, to the market on Sundays, huh, it's very crowded. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So right now we have. Uh, so I have the picture with the mm -hmm. the answers. What exactly. I can do? So right I now what you the No, no. You, if you have a notebook with you, a piece of paper or whatever, uh, write the, okay. the, the, the answers. The answers. Okay. Yeah, because okay. we're, we're going to check the answers in a minute, okay? Okay, okay, okay. That's good. good. Very nice. Huh? Any question, guys? That's okay? Yeah, yes, okay. yes. Finish? Uh, almost. Okay, almost finished. Okay, very good. Keep on working. Yes. Okay. Mm. Expensive. Uh, expensive. Yeah. Expensive. Um, relaxing. Stressful. Yes. Stressful. Yes. Um, quiet. Pardon? Quiet. Number five. Quiet is uh, callado, silencioso, right? Quiet. Oh, expressive, mm -hmm. expressive. Mm -hmm. So what is the opposite of quiet? Noisy. Mm -hmm. The letter E, noisy, uh -huh. ruidoso. Yes. Right. Noisy, mm -hmm. noisy. Number four. Any question, guys? 
Eh, sí. Teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, tell me lo que, lo que estamos viendo ahorita, eh, de que estamos un poco como perdidos. Ah, ok, tell me, tell me. Estamos un poco perdidos. Uh -huh. Tenemos aquí, tenemos acabo, aquí. De, acabo de mandar al grupo de WhatsApp una foto de los adjetivos que acabamos de ver, de dos columnas. Vaya, correcto. So, aquí tenemos beautiful. Uh -huh. Usted tiene, de la columna A, usted tiene que buscar el opuesto de ese adjetivo en la columna B. Por ejemplo, tenemos beautiful. Beautiful es bonito, hermoso, ¿verdad? So, okay. ¿Cuál es el opuesto? Busquemos sí. el opuesto. Boring, sí. crowded, y usted solamente este, buscan los opuestos y en un cuaderno o en una paginita aparte, pues van poniendo la letra que corresponde, el número. ¿Y si, le, ¿Y si le ponemos beautiful y le pongo fi, fea? No, porque feo ahí en la H es ugly. 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 En inglés tiene que buscarle el opuesto en inglés. El opuesto está en el lado B. ¿Ok? Sí. Boring. Uh -huh. Boring, aburrido. Boring. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? So, por ejemplo, el segundo. Cheap. Cheap. Es barato. Cheap. So, cheap. what is the opposite for cheap? Um, búscalo ahí. Ahí búsquelo. Sí, cheap es de clown. Crowded es lleno. Uh -huh. Gen. Y si chip es barato, no puede ser el opuesto lleno, right? Tiene que ser, mm -hmm. es lo opuesto de barato. ¿En español? ¿Lo opuesto de barato? Cómodo. No, el opuesto. El, el cómodo es, viene siendo un sinónimo. El opuesto. Caro. Caro, muy bien. Mm. Okay. Una pregunta, note 7. <laughs> What is ah. your name? <laughs> ok. Para, para um. la compañera que está acá de, del... Del, mm -hmm. no, note 7. What is your name? Excuse me. Karina Hernández. Ah, excuse, excuse me. Karina Hernández. Karina. Ok. Hi, Karina. Para llamarla por su nombre, por favor. Ok. Tiene, no, tiene, vaya, tiene el nombre del teléfono ahí. No. Vaya, clean, clean es limpio. Va. Clean es limpio. Búsqueme. Eh, entonces sería, sería sucio. Sería sucio. Sería. El opuesto. Ajá. Si no se recuerda, pues bueno, aquí está. Ok, boring, crowded, dangerous, expensive, noisy, polluted. Ajá, está, no está, en sí no está su, sucio como dirty, pero está polluted. Ok, El polluted es contaminado, entonces algo limpio. Ah, contaminado. ya le entendí. Es de ordenarlo, que no está ordenado, va. No, 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 está en, en desorden. Por eso ustedes tienen que buscar el opuesto, ¿ok? <ríe> ya le entendí, que no le había entendido y ah, sí, ya le caí. I'm so sorry. Ok, I'm sorry then. Uh, well, we're okay. going to check the answers. We're going to check the answers in the, in the general mm -hmm. meeting, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Hoy sí le entendió Carolina, ¿va? Carolina, casi... Okay, guys, very good. Okay, after been, you know, practicing a little bit, we're going to check, okay, the answers that we have. I'm going to display the, the picture once again, so you can tell me. I will ask for some volunteers, okay? Remember, practicing English is a matter of uh, volunteering. Okay, I have the, 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 two, the two columns. Beautiful. Cheap, clean, interesting, quiet, relaxing, safe, spacious. Column B, boring, crowded, dangerous, expensive, noisy, polluted, stressful, and ugly. Let's see number one. I need a volunteer for number one. Give me the column A and give me the answer in column B, please. Um, Beautiful yeah. with ugly. Oh, beautiful with ugly. Okay, number one, letter H. Excellent. Okay, number two, somebody else. Uh, number two, Ceci, with number two. Um, cheap, cheap. Uh, with letter D, expensive. Excellent. Cheap, expensive. Very good. Number three, somebody else. Clean. Clean. Note with. seven. Karina, Car 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 right? 
We polluted. Aha, uh -huh. clean and, and polluted. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Polluted, very good. This is contaminated. Uh, number four, somebody else. Or there was Interful. here. Uh -huh. Interesting. 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 Number four, aha, uh -huh. Leida. Interesting and uh, letter A, boring. Boring, excellent. Okay, interesting and boring. Uh, next, number five. Quiet. Quiet. With uh, noisy. With noisy, excellent. Very good. This is callado and noisy, ruidoso. Okay, very good. Number six. Uh, relax, uh, Eastern food. Uh -huh, very good. Relaxing, stressful. Okay, stressful. Very good. Number seven, somebody else. Spacious with crowded. Seven, seven. Safe. Oh. Safe. With uh, letter C, dangerous. C, dangerous, excellent, the, the opposite. Okay, and number eight, obviously. Somebody else. Spacious. 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 Yeah, crowded. With crowded. Uh, spacious. Letter B. Okay, letter B. Okay, that's it. Number nine, do you have okay. one? Del que vimos allá del desierto. ¿Cuál me podrían decir en number nine? The opposite. Hot. Hot. And wait. Oh. Cold. Cool. Cool. Excellent. Cool. cool or cold, no problem. Oh. Okay, both are okay. Number ten, other, other. Dry and near. Okay, far and near, uh -huh. lejos, cerca, like Celine Dion, so, right? Uh -huh. mm. Near, far. Uh, dark. Okay. Dark and? Um, I don't know uh, if it's clear or light. Bright. 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 Uh -huh. That's it. Okay, mm. very good. That's mm. it. Excellent. Intelligent, goofy. Okay. Uh, Give me other tall, short, okay? Those are adjectives, guys. Very, very, very nice. So, look at this. In this case, I have this conversation. And in this conversation, I have exactly what we are going to practice today. Look at this. Adverbs before adjectives. Ya jugamos un ratito con adjetivos. Hot, shady, spacious, quiet. Uh, dangerous, okay, big, nice, good, bad, etc. So, now we are going to practice the adverbs. ¿Cómo es que los adverbios van antes de los adjetivos? Well, en la primera oración dice San Juan. San Juan, guys, is a place, okay? San Juan is really nice. Mm. El adjetivo aquí es nice. Y cuando usted... Puede decir, hey, Hector is nice. Pero si yo ya, yeah, it's nice. Pero yo ahora le quiero agregar al adjetivo que él es no es solo bueno, sino que es muy bueno. So when you want to say muy, bastante, ok. Eh, in different adverbs, look at the list that we have here. Están, mire. Extremely, repeat, extremely. 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 Very. Very. Really. 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 Ah, la comida que prepara su, su mamá o alguien ahí dice, good. No, it's really good. Really delicious. So, usted ya le va agregando algo más a la palabra, ¿ok? Then we have pretty. 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 Usted, usted pretty. sabe que pretty es eh, bonito, right? Yeah. So, like, aquí no va a ser bonito. Here, when you say pretty good, pretty bad. Ok, ahí usted está diciendo muy, muy bueno, muy malo. How are you today? Oh, para que no toda la vida digan, I am fine. How are you today? Pretty good, thank you. ¿Eh? Good is the adjective y el adverbio va a ser pretty in this Great. case. Pero no va a ser bonito, bonito, bien, no. In this case, tienen que saber 
¿Cuándo va a ser bonito? Cuando diga the, 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 the house is pretty. Ah, ok. Después del verbo to be is, va a ir pretty, bonito, right? But when you have an adjective, before is muy, ok? Then we have this one, repeat, fairly. 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 Somewhat. 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 And two. Somewhat. Two. 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 Okay. Two. ¿Alguien, ¿Alguien sabe acá fairly? Bastante. Uh -huh. Sorry? Bastante. Bastante. Ajá. Somewhat. Algo. 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 ¿Han oído la frase en español que dice, ah, te he dicho está algo feo? <risa> <risa> Uh, algo, right? So you say somewhat. ¿Qué dijéramos ahí? Somewhat. Uh, somewhat ugly. Okay. Uh -huh. That's it. And then we have two. Two es también. Pero cuando va al final de la oración, at the end of the sentence. But here, my friends, is too good, too ugly, too beautiful. Too big. Yes, demasiado. Okay? So this is an adverb. Look at the examples that we have here. Okay? I will ask uh, Cecilia Fuentes, please. Can you please read the examples? Okay. Uh, San Juan is really nice. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, oh, San Juan is really nice. It's fairly big. Mm -hmm. It's not very expensive. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really nice city. It's a fairly big city. It's not a very expensive place. Uh -huh. um, it's too noisy and too it's noisy. too uh, and it's too crowded for me. Exactly. Very, very good. Too noisy. Eso es cuando exagera algo. But for example, el reggaeton. Ah, it's noisy. Para uno es ruidoso. Pero para los viejitos, no, demasiado ruidoso. Es extremadamente. So you say, it's too noisy. Ok, cartón de huevos ahora. <laughs> Antes, $3.75. $3.75. Ah, ok, it's expensive. Ok, ahora lo compramos a $5. $5. Too expensive. So it's more than. Okay? So, look at, the, look, look at the position. Ven, aquí está. Before the adjective. Really? Nice. Nunca va a decir nice, really. ¿Ok? O be fairly. No, it's before. Antes. Before. Fairly big. Very expensive. Very good. Too noisy. Too crowded. Ok, ayer estaba extremadamente caliente. ¿Quién me quiere decir esa oración en inglés? I need a volunteer for translating. Ayer estaba yesterday, extremadamente caliente. Yes, Ceci. Yesterday uh, was extremely hot. Excellent. Very good. Yesterday was extremely hot. Ok. I live in uh, Santa Tecla. Yesterday was hot. Pero tengo una amiga que vive en Zacateco, Luca. Ella no era hot. Ella dijo, yesterday was extremely hot. <laughs> you see? El grado, eh? It's more. Ok, extremely hot. Bueno, para los que cinco dólares no es mucho, dice, oh, the eggs are expensive. Pero para aquellos que cinco dólares es todo, it's too expensive. Okay. Y, si, y si digo, y si digo, is a popa, is, eh, 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 really cold. Really cold. Uh, cold. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. Oh, oh, oh. Cold, 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 caliente. Uh, hot. Cold. Hot. Hot. Con T, con T. Hot. 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 Okay, hot. exactly. Uh, a popa okay. is really hot. Example, I, I don't know. Example, yes, eh, example, la campade, campanera is extremely dangerous. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Extremely dangerous. Right? Okay. Ah, ya por eh, San Marcos is somewhat, somewhat dangerous. 
Ah, no, le dice otro. It's very dangerous, right? So it depends. This is depends on opinions, okay? Opinions. For example, in my case, the coffee. I Is like a, I like yeah. coffee when it's cold, but there are other people that like coffee when it's hot. So for me, eh, aunque esté tibio, yo digo, ah, it's very hot. Y si digo, y si digo, teacher, y si yes. digo, is my is my country is really really nice. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. Okay. It's really nice. Okay. Very good. A uh, pretty, right? Pretty good. Ah, oh, this class is pretty interesting. No solo me quedo con interesting. I add pretty interesting. Y no lo traducan como bonito, interesante, no. Ya les dije que antes de un adjetivo va a ser muy, very. Es como un sinónimo de very, okay? It's pretty. So, hey, how are you today? Pretty good, teacher. Thank you. What about you? Okay. Pretty good. Okay. Pretty nice. Okay. Etc. Right? Questions so far? Comments? Okay. It's okay. In what time mm -hmm. we can use pretty or very? In this case, there is no like a rule that says you have to use very and pretty with this. No problem. This is like synonyms. Okay. Okay. That's not, there Thank is you. no difference. Okay. Nice. Any other comment or question? No, teacher. No? Okay. No. Now let's listen. And now that you understand this, let's see the conversation. Okay. Bueno, mías, creo. Let, me, let me erase this. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, there is a conversation over here. If you have your your uh, speakers, do you have a speakers? Tienes yes. a, a su manita ahí, if you are in the computer or cell phone, that's it. So you can listen to the to the audio, okay? This is the beach San Juan. Look, this is the, the one in the example, San Juan. That's it. Oh, I've heard that's a really nice city. Okay, can you listen? Unit 11. Okay. It's a very exciting place. Page 72, Exercise 2, Conversation. It's a fairly big city. Part A, Listen and Practice. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great. And there are some fantastic beaches nearby. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city. It's not too big, though. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay, that's it. There we have the conversation. Okay, then you can see here. In this conversation, I need two volunteers. Necesito un Eric and one Carmen. One boy and one girl. Somebody wants to be Eric. One volunteer. Carmen. Okay, Carmen. Good, thank mm -hmm. you. And Eric? Carmen. Edgar, Edgar. okay, very good. <laughs> thank okay. you for, for your participation. Well. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, so, where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Well, I've heard that it's really I, nice city. Excuse me. I've heard. i heard that it's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches nearby. Nearby. Uh, nearby. Mm -hmm. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Price, price, prices? Price? 
-hmm. Are prayer reasona reasonable? Reasonable. Um, reasonable. Good. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city. It's not too big. It's not too big. True. True. No. It True. sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Sometime. Okay, very good. That's it. So you see, in this sentence, wow, I heard, he escuchado, I heard that re a really nice, ¿ve? a really nice city. And then we have another example here. Uh, is it very, is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. Son muy razonable. Okay, so it's not expensive, it's not too cheap. Uh, how big is the city? It's a fairly big city. It's not too big though. In the class for tomorrow, my friends, we're going to practice the use of though. Esa frase que está después al final, la vamos a aprender mañana, how to use it and how to use uh, these adjectives, okay? Tomorrow, you are going to practice with your partners a conversation using very fairly, okay, to, okay, um, extremely, for example, and you're going to make a conversation, a common conversation. For example, something like this. Uh, hey, Yader, hi. Hey, hi, teacher. Excuse me, Yader, where do you live? Oh, I live in uh, San Jacinto. Oh, okay. Do you like San Jacinto? Yes. It's uh, fairly nice. It's uh, a, a, little, a little quiet. And it's uh, at night is very very dangerous okay so when you have a conversation like this you can include this adverse okay tomorrow you and your partner you don't know the partner right but tomorrow you are gonna make up a conversation and you're gonna use adverse before adjectives okay so this is the class for today Adverbs before adjectives. ¿Qué adverbios aprendimos hoy? Well, extremely, pretty, very, fairly, too. Ok. Y hay muchos de nosotros desde básico hemos usado el very. Ok. Sin saber que era un adverbio. Ahora saben que el very, el pretty, el um, too son adverbios. Y pues modifican bastante al, al adjetivo, ¿ok? So, this is the classes for describing uh, places, pero no solamente pueden describir lugares, people too. Ay, dicen, my mother is uh, too angry, <laughs> demasiado enojada, dice, la, se quejan de la esposa, too angry. My husband is very tall, es bien alto, es, ahí están usando adverse, ¿ok? So, this is what we have in this section number one. Empiecen a trabajar en la plataforma sección uno. Ya que hicimos la clase ahora, pues tomorrow in the morning or tomorrow in the afternoon, you can do the exercises, okay? Echenle un ojo. Take a look at the video. Study the next video. So, mañana no vengan así en la luna, sino que sepa, ah, la teacher mañana va a hablar de esto, okay? So, this is the idea. To practice. Hoy no tenemos la excusa de time. Now we have extra time at home. So let's practice a little bit English. Okay? Comments, questions for tonight? Any questions? No? No questions. Okay, very nice, guys. It was a pleasure for me to be with you tonight. This is our first class. I hope to see you tomorrow night. What time? nine o'clock okay have everybody a great night okay and sweet dreams everybody bye 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 bye, bye. teacher bye teacher bye. 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 thank you god bless you thank you you <laughs> too